Hey, what's up? Today, I want to tell you about five great resources of the iOS community to learn and improve your knowledge of Swift and iOS in general. So you can already see the first place behind me, and it's the website Swift by Sandel. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with John Sandel and all of its activities in the community. He has written a ton of articles, has a weekly podcast, really a lot of content. But even if you know about his website, maybe what you don't know is the Discover page. And this page is super useful because it is basically kind of like a curation of his article on a specific topic. So you have the standard library, combined unit testing and SwiftUI. And what's super nice is that when you click on one of the topics, so for instance SwiftUI, well you are presented with a selection of John's article about SwiftUI, but they are presented in a way that is meant for you to understand the topic. So it's starting with introduction articles and then moving on to more complex stuff with some like concrete topics being identified. So for instance, state management, what's happening behind the scene, how to interoperate UI kit and that kit, etc. So if you are new to Swift or you want to improve your knowledge on a specific topic, I really encourage you to check out this Discover page. You might learn something. And I can tell you that for myself, I have followed the Discover Swift UI page and I have learned a ton of stuff. So now let's move on to the second place. It's also a website and you might also be familiar with it because it is also super famous. So it's the website Hacking with Swift made by Paul Hudson. And on this website, well, there is just so much content that I couldn't show you everything even if I wanted to in this short video, but I want to show you a part that is really useful and it's a part that's called the Swift Knowledge Base. And the idea is that you can type any word here and you can search the knowledge base. So for instance, if you are wondering, well, what does the keyword un owned does in Swift, you can just type it. And here you can see in the talk result, you're going to have your answer. And it works for a lot of topics. So for instance, let's say I want to learn about Codable, or I'm wondering about Codable, well, I just type in Codable, and you can see that I have all of the articles related to Codable showing up. So whenever you're confronted to some part of Swift that maybe you don't really know about it, well, it can be a great place to search for. Now moving on to the third place, which is iOS Dev Weekly. So there are a lot of newsletters in the iOS community and iOS Dev Weekly might be the most famous one because it has a very good quality and it is actually quite old because it's been there for 10 years. So it's a really great way to stay up to date with the iOS community. Basically, you just subscribe. So with email or just with Safari, with a push notification and every Friday you get a newsletter that has been curated to help you stay up to date with the iOS community. And I can tell you, I am also subscribed to this newsletter. And if you want to keep up with Swift and you don't really like to read but you like more to watch videos, well, let's move on to the fourth place. So the fourth place, it's a YouTube channel just like mine. It's the one of Sean Allen. So he's been there on YouTube well before I have and he has put a lot of very good videos and I wanted to show you a specific playlist from his channel. So it's a playlist called Swift News and the idea is kind of similar with iOS Dev Weekly is to have weekly videos that are going to let you know about what's up with Swift in the last week. And the advantage is that this is a video format. So depending on how you occupy your time, maybe this video format might work better with you than a newsletter format. And finally, the last place I wanted to show you is the website NS Hipster. So NS Hipster, it's a website that's been around for quite some time. Unfortunately, in the last year, there have been less articles, but the ones that have been published are really a gold mine. It's basically articles that are going to focus on a very specific topic in Swift, or in iOS in general. And these articles, they are great because they are very in-depth and they are also very well written. And if you were to check out only one article to get a taste of this website, well, my advice would be to check the article about Ashable and Asher because it's an article that is super interesting in the way that Ashable works in Swift, but it's also super well written and it's really very agreeable to read. So really, do yourself a favor and go check it out. And I'm sure that you're going to love its content and then you're going to want to read all of the articles on the website. And what's great right is that every time you read an article in this website, you are sure that you're going to improve your knowledge of either Swift or iOS in general. So that's all for this short video. I really wanted to give you these pointers to learn from the community. Now I could only put five places because otherwise the video would have been way too long, but I'm sure that yourself, you also have your own place that you go to to learn. And I could only 
only encourage you to share them in the comment. This way, the other viewers will be able to learn about them. And maybe I will also discover some new places. Now, of course, all the links I've mentioned are in the description. So please go check them out. I can guarantee that you won't regret it. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.